here at the ECSC and we're just having a good time, nice weather. Uh, we are in VB, not the best place for waves as everyone knows that this year, but it's been a good time for everybody and uh, super stoked to see friends and some of my, uh, yeah, guys like these, grommets here. Yeah, just surfing, having, making it what it is. With part of the East Coast Surfing Championship, we're offering one of their sport divisions, which is beach flag football. It's been around about 30 years, started here in Virginia Beach. Teams of like 24 from all around Tidewater, they're playing out here at six on six co-ed, uh, four guys, two girls. Great situation for the East Coast Surfing Championship because obviously it goes with the hype and the mix of everybody out here having fun with their families and uh, competing in a good way. We just had the 2015 Miss Coastal Edge ECSC Swimsuit Pageant this weekend. These girls come from all different backgrounds and some of them uh, do this full time. Others of them do it as a part time side job to make extra money and they do have careers. Um, and several of them, yeah, are married or they do have children or, you know, some of them are young and single and it's, they have to be 18 to compete and there's no upper age limit. So we get all different kinds of girls that come out for this. We've had a great crowd both days, have great weather both days for this, and um, they've really been into it, yelling for their favorite girl. It's been a really good crowd. We've been running these tournaments for a while now, um, usually in June and again in August, along with ECSC and all the other activities going on here at the oceanfront um, with beach volleyball and everything else. And it's just a great time to get together and a lot of the teams know each other and um, it's friendly competition. It's always um, nice to see the support, people just walking through on the boardwalk and they'll stop and watch. Um, maybe they've never watched before, get a sense of what's going on. And we have a good crowd too people who just come down to watch flag football. We think, we appreciate all the support. So far, a lot of volleyball, a lot of soccer, a lot of people having fun being at the beach, um, surfing as well as skateboarding and just enjoying themselves. What got me into surfing is when I was about two years old, my dad was a professional surfer, Wesleyan senior. He was pro all through the 80s one of the best in the world, but um, yeah, he got me into it really early and it just took off from there. It's been really mellow and really supportive. Uh, I really enjoy just uh, the people here. Uh, I think that's what makes the, the obviously the contest what it is. You have uh, guys like Wes Lane's kid growing up and you know, just seeing him come up and, and getting into surfing and you've got a lot of other young surfers and a lot of potential. You've got Michael Dumpy that homegrown right here in Virginia Beach and he's, he's represented us well and uh, even being on the tour has really been uh, uh, an opportunity for him up and coming hopefully. It's pretty tough competition down here. A lot of the best guys in the country, some guys coming from California, New York, Florida, pretty much everywhere where there's good surf. So I've been watching everybody surf all day every day pretty much. I love the competition, I love the athleticism, keeps me fit. But um, there are a lot of great guys that I compete against, good surfers, good guys, just great people to be around. I think serving for me, it's given me an outlet. After my football career ended at Virginia Tech, I really wanted to lose some of that football weight and uh, just help my demeanor overall. I think uh, psychologically, uh, physically, emotionally, it really helps. I mean, your overall self-esteem. And then more importantly, there's a, obviously there's a spiritual aspect to it. And I know for me, it's really been a blessing in my life to just uh, enjoy surfing. It, it gets you out of your comfort zone and, and uh, obviously it's humbling.